My son is addicted and obsessed with violent video games. I hear your guns. Video games are my son's number one priority. He plays when he wants, where he wants, and for as long as he wants. He has stayed on for up to 20 hours. He never comes out of his room to eat with us, but he will yell out from his room, peasant, bring me a plate. Come to me immediately, I request backup immediately. All right guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, we have a new intro, and also that, that uh, clip I last played was a intro to what you guys are about to see throughout the whole video. So technically, now we know this kid calls his mom peasant and loves to play video games from his room all the time. And his, his aunt is just like telling it at all. His aunt is in this too, I'm assuming. But um, if I were to actually call my mom a peasant, let's just say... Let's just say I wouldn't be here, guys. Let's just say I would get a loud, loud spanking. Probably the whole neighborhood can hear it. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, kind of continue on with the video. The two games that he really likes to play the most are Grand Theft Auto and Fortnite. He gets very excited about the number of kills because the more kills you have, the higher you go in the game. It makes him very aggressive. His favorite game right now is Grand Theft Auto. Double barrel, bitch! It is very violent. They rob, shoot, kill, beat. Let's empty out this Holy crap, bro. What is wrong with this kid? Okay, so for one, he is like cursing from his room as loud as he can. And his mom doesn't even do anything about it. And, like, she hears him saying all these words, like, all, like, B word and all that stuff like that. And she doesn't even do anything. Like, you're his mom. You're not just gonna let him call, stay in there and call you peasant, man. Because, uh, that's just not, that's just some bad parenting right there. Kind of glad they ended up on Dr. Phil. And everything they do is demeaning to women. Jiggly, jiggly, I'm coming for a movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. First off, what did he just say? Chicken and jiggly, I'm coming for a moody. 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 When my nephew is playing the video games, he's very rude and disrespectful to the people that he's playing online with. Thank you. He plays the game online with adults, and the language that they use is absolutely horrendous. Okay, first off, of course, you let your son get GTA, which is a M-rated game. That is a 18 and up rated game, and you need an adult to buy that game. So, by my understanding, you probably let your son get that game. And now you're complaining about the language of the adults he's playing with. It is a M-rated game. What is wrong with you? If you knew there was going to be cursing in there, you shouldn't have bought it. For one, there's nudity, cursing, sexual... I forgot. Just read the dang tag next time. Please. And obviously, there's going to be cursing in the game if it's a M-rated game. This. Beep, beep. Coming I'm gonna kill you, beat the f out of you, and piss off. And that's transferred over to his mom. When I tell him, watch your language, he'll tell me to shut the f up and get out. He will turn over furniture, he breaks dishes, he has basically destroyed his room. How would he? Okay, it has come to my understanding where this mom is not a good mom. She has never heard of taking away the game. I have to go through this every single time. It, like, when I was younger, if I would yell at my sister because she wanted to play, I couldn't play. I would be mad, and she was the only one that could play for the rest of the night. <laughs> Clearly, this mom does not know what that is. So, she is a bad parent. And she's lucky enough to get her sister helping her right now. Like, seriously. she, Her sister steps up more than her, like, oh, watch your language. And then her mom just sits there and doesn't do anything. Like, what is wrong with you? Like your death to be death by nades. 
These violent games have desensitized him from actual pain and death. He has been bullied. I am scared that he will take the behaviors that he's learned in the game and retaliate. He could become another school shooter. Okay. This is where common sense comes in. Like, bro, you shouldn't have bought the game in the first place. From the start, you should have known something like this was going to happen. You shouldn't have bought the game. It was that simple. And if he started acting up on the game, you should have just took it away from him. And he would probably learn a bit more to watch his mouth and stuff. Just saying. This is something that I feel like I could deal with in 30 seconds or three hours, depending on how I approach this. But if you're so desperate, why did you not write in? Why did your sister write in? See, that, that is exactly what I'm talking about. Look, he even, Dr. Phil even knows. Like, seriously, if Dr. Phil doesn't even understand how you're desperate and you didn't do anything, he, you know, you should know something's up. Like, it, her sister had to write them in to get them on the show and help them. Why didn't the mom do it? Like, if she, like, if her sister didn't do anything, what do you think would have happened the whole time? This just would have gone unnoticed the whole time. Nine times. I guess I'm just complacent to it. I'm, I'm used to it. I feel like I know what's wrong with him. My question is, what's wrong with you? Oh my goodness, Dr. Phil over here exposing the parent now. Look, she already knows the kid's problem. But now she needs to know the mom's problem. Like, seriously, I'm... See, this is why I love Dr. Phil, man, because he's always, like, right there, man. You know what I'm. You know what I mean. This is why I love you, Doctor Phil. You have a twelve-year-old child yelling, "Get in here, peasant! Bring me this!" And what do you do? I do it. You do it. He locks you out of the house in the freezing rain and holds a sign up to the window: "I will let you in if you go get me Starbucks." Okay, now I'm starting to think this mom's problem has actually gone too far. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, your kid locks you out of the house, holds up a sign, and says, I will let you in if you give me Starbucks. What is wrong with you? What do you do after you give him Starbucks? You do nothing? You're not gonna, you're not gonna give him a whooping or anything. Why? Because you're afraid he's gonna cry or something? <laughs> Oh my goodness, people have problems. And you go get it. Now, come on, help me. I'm just an old country boy. You have to help me understand how this makes sense. I've been in school for the last 18 months and I'm gone Good. four nights a week right. and 12 hour shifts on the weekends. And uh, his dad has had um, anxiety disorder and um, heart issues and so physically and emotionally he wasn't able to handle him and so by the time I got home from work I work 40 hours a week as well so by the time I got home I'm just so tired and mentally and physically exhausted that I would just do whatever I had to do to keep the peace. Okay, now his dad passed away in, in, September. in September of last year yes. right and from a heart condition yes. correct yes. and your son barely shed a tear right? Yes. In fact, he said, hey, people die. Moving on. Yes. Hey, all I got to say, this kid is way tougher than me. Like, if my dad would have died, I would have cried myself off. Like, no joke. Uh, yeah, but he is way tougher than me, not going to lie. What do you think? I mean, you're looking at this. You're there every day. I just met you guys. The way that he treats her is just deplorable. But... I, I think she was crippled a little bit by her husband and the way that he kept things super secret. So she wasn't allowed to talk to me about it. Um, she wasn't really allowed to talk to anybody about it. And so when she finally started opening up to me um, and I realized, oh my goodness, like he is really cussing you out. He's really doing these things. Then that's when I wrote in originally. At that point, I thought maybe, maybe she'll kind of take control and it'll get better. And it just got worse. Well, guys, that is actually it from that Dr. Phil story. But, um, 
her, um, the mom's sister was actually, like, very, uh, how do I say that, like, compliant? I don't know, something like that. But I'm kind of glad she did write in. I actually don't know what happened after that. That's kind of where it stopped, though. But uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to like and subscribe. And hopefully I will be doing more videos like this. Well, I am, actually. And be sure to join my live streams. Because those are actually, like, the best part. I guess. And uh, peace. Stay lit. Guys, so what is up? How's it going? <laughs>